So now we are getting to the to two uh, topics that are come together, which is the latent and the VAE. What is actually the latent? The latent is the playground where the, the model can play and to do whatever it, uh, it needs to do by taking the noise and convert it to, to an image. Now, as we said, we have an empty latent, which is totally clean, as you see here. Now we are taking um, we, are, we, are we, are, we are taking noise and add the noise to the latent. We are manipulating the, the latent a little bit. This is the noise here as we had. Now the model getting the latent, adding the noise, and uh, try to understand by getting the the uh, embedding, as we said, from the clip. The clip take the, the text, convert it to embedding, which is the language this uh, model can understand, okay? And it's giving us a, a, an image. But before that, we need to decode the latent that get out of the, of the model. And we need to, uh, to give it to uh, convert it to an image by some algorithm. This algorithm is the VAE. Now, you can see that we are taking the, the VAE from that model, from that specific model, okay? And we are giving it to the, to the decoder. It means that until that point, we don't need the VAE. The VAE is just reading the latent space that come from that uh, model and converting it to pixels, to an image. So here we see that we are getting the, 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 the correct image. But let, let's take a different VAE. A different one. Let's say uh, here we are using SDXL. We are now taking a external a VAE for SD. It means it's SD 1.5, it's a different type of model, different type of way it's encoded. And let's give to the image, the decoder, this VAE. And let's see what happened. See, the image, the way it's decoding the latent to an image, got totally messed up. You can see it, it doesn't know exactly how to do it. You, you, have a, you, you, you can see the resemblance. You can see the window, but it's not clean. All the noise is there. It means that that VAE cannot actually read that specific uh, 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 model pixels. Let's take a different VAE of, of, of another model, which is SDXL. And voila, both the, the model know how to read the, the same structure of latent. It means that you can use different model VAE to, to read, uh, to read the, the latent of uh, different models. Now, you have also, you, you can even also take the specific uh, SDXL VAE and use it independently if, if you need, but it's the same one that you have here usually, because they, they derived from that one. Now, there are some pitfalls with the VAE. The VAE um, is not uh, working, not all VAE of any model work with any model. If the base model are, are okay and they can understand it, so it's fine. But the model, when it's working on the latent, it changes it. Okay, and it prevents you from uh, working with it with the different models, with the different VAE of other models. For example, we rendered that image here, which is okay. Now, when we are loading the VAE, for example, of the, uh, the VAE of SD uh, 1.5, and we try to render it, you, you saw that we are getting uh, we are, we are getting a, a noise. It means that we didn't read it correct, but it could read it. But 
let's take it for, with the flux for example it's a totally different model totally different latent everything is completely different with on the way that it's uh, reading it and let's do it now we got an error okay the model the the vae um, the vae cannot read the latent of that uh, of uh, of uh, that model it it doesn't have the same structure the same as you, as as we saw before the same array vector of values it actually is a matter for, for the model because the model know exactly what is the structure what each number means etc and the vae usually come with a specific type of model this is why it's know exactly how to read the numbers and you don't have noise etc but here we took fl a flux and we give it the 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 latent from the sdxl base model and we get a mess okay it doesn't know how to do it so if you want to go back we can just give it the sdxl and now it can read it and it will display it correctly because it can read it so vae come together tightly with the model and a latent if the latent change by a model not all other model will uh, be able to uh, to work with it now if you do want to use multiple um, multiple uh, models which are not uh, tightly connected like uh, uh, with the um, you, you want to move the image from one to, to the other, you must do, first of all, decode, VAE decode, get the image, yeah? And then you can do VAE encode with the, with, with the, new, um, with, with the new VAE, let's say I'm taking now flux, And now the latent that I will get from this model, let's put them together. Now the latent that, that I will get here is belong to, to the flux to the flux. It means that I can now use a different type of model. I can I use a different sampler and different method to use that that image and to continue with it to, to a new flow. So I can use multiple model one after the other, but I must convert them like decode and encode to have it working together. It's important. If not, you will get the message that we just get and you say, what do you want? And I, I do want to show you something that we talked about. Look here. Those values are, are the dimensions. We, we spoke before about clip uh, and the model that have the dimensions. It means that we, uh, one model has X dimensions, the other has different one. Now, the structure that they are uh, writing the data is different. Yeah, so they actually cannot read one, the, one of the others. And if, it, if they do, you will have the, the image that we just had here uh, below. When we, when we use this VAE and you got noise. It's read it, but you have noise, so it's not perfection, it's unperfected image. 